Here's a video that will uh, briefly describe the proper way to put vinyl on a car. In this case, we're um, going to be applying the racing stripes, and um, initially we're going to be talking about a couple of steps that need to be taken care of prior to the um, racing stripe application. The most important part is probably preparation of the vehicle. A um, good washing is imperative to ensure that the decals come out looking their absolute best. Any trash left on the surface when the vinyl stripes are applied will obviously show through in the absolute worst way. And the tools that you notice in front of you for the job today, um, we are using uh, the 9 inch stripe kit which has a 1 inch separator. Um, so we have the scotch tape uh, or the masking tape uh, which is approximately 7 eighths of an inch wide for spacing. We have the squeegee, um, different kinds of squeegees can be used. This is just to remove water or the application fluid that is actually underneath the decal to make it adhere. We have a microfiber towel and as you notice we also have a microfiber towel underneath all of the tools to make sure that the car itself remains scratch free. Speaking of application fluid, um, this is a simple spray bottle. It's a 32 ounce a quart bottle from um, a local hardware store. Application fluid formula is real simple. It's 32 ounces of water and four solid drops of dishwashing liquid. Um, I would strongly suggest obviously putting the water in the container first and then adding the dishwashing liquid afterwards and then mixing it up a little bit to make sure it's evenly distributed. Application of these stripes is impossible without application fluid, um, so I strongly suggest that um, you mix them up. For a uh, single job stripe kit, on average we use anywhere from 16 to 32 ounces of fluid. All right, let's talk about application. I think, um, again, what a lot of people don't keep into consideration is not just the vehicle itself, but where you apply the vinyl decals. Uh, preferably inside of a garage, underneath a carport, somewhere where it's shielded from the elements, the dust, um, sunshine and such. Um, we're actually now going to install the last piece of our 2010-2011 uh, uh, Shelby and Mustang kit um, and as with uh, our previously mentioned application fluid which is probably the most important part we're going to uh, soak the area and just to double check the actual surface rubbing your hands or your fingers um, over the actual surface to ensure that there is no uh, any no debris on that surface which could uh, cause the decals to um, appear less than perfect. Again, the application fluid, you cannot use too much of this. Use so liberally um, on the surface. Then we actually take the vinyl racing stripe. In this case, it's been cut for the satellite receiver. Um, we obviously offer it without as well. Um, peel the decal from the backing discard the backing make sure that the decal has again plenty of application fluid on it as well again there is no such thing as too much you can lay it on the surface it's really not that big of a deal if it um, lays uh, perfectly flat without bubbles in it um, as we are going to use a squeegee to remove everything, um, the application fluid as well as the bubbles themselves. Place the stripe in roughly the area that you're uh, looking for. Then take your actual squeegee and while holding the decal in place, remove the application fluid from one of the areas and already you can tell um, that it's starting to adhere um, because of the lack of or because of the surface tension between the decal and the uh, car itself. Once you're absolutely happy with where the uh, vinyl decal sits you can continue to remove the majority of the fluid 
and I would probably work from your center out um, to ensure that the there does there is no bubbles that get trapped underneath the surface. Um, the microfiber cloth is obviously nice to have around because you can get rid of the application fluid in a quick manner. And as you can tell, um, the decal quickly looks at home on this beautiful Mustang. Once you have it in place again, continue to dry it off until you're absolutely happy with it. Now you may notice that we have a slight overlap over here on the edge, and it's done purposely. Um, we actually call it a wind edge. Um, the wind that travels over the vehicle, if it were to hit a corner of the decal, um, over time obviously it will continue to um, erode and, and perhaps even remove the decal. Removing it's very unlikely, but obviously it, uh, it prevents that. Uh, simply when the um, majority of the liquid is removed, fold it under, and from the inside of the trunk in this case, continue to um, put it in place. Um, with any vinyl decal application, we're well aware that mistakes happen. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, we are probably the only company also that offers replacement stripes for um, those mishaps. So um, on our website, www.anchor-room.com, um, look for the replacement stripes for all of our kits. And um, in case a mishap happens, obviously it'll be a heck of a lot cheaper to purchase those rather than um, the entire kit by itself. Uh, one last final thing I want to mention, um, the aftercare of this item, make sure that you do not wash your vehicle for approximately two to three weeks. Um, you will notice some bubbles after the application. Um, something else that's important to mention is that over time those will probably um, just evaporate as it's the application fluid that is still stuck underneath the vinyl. Um, hope you enjoy your kit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Give us a call. Thank you.